Hello again, everyone. I just want to take a moment to go through with you the instructions for exercise two, page 15 of chapter three, syllable, excuse me, vowel and consonant sounds. Uh, so let's go ahead and take a look at the textbook. Again, we're on exercise two of page 15. So essentially what we're looking at is the sounds of vowels and their symbols. As some words have the same vowel letters, but different vowel sounds and different vowel letters in the same vowel sound. So if you want a glossary of all the different vowel sounds in English, you'll want to go into our module for chapter three. You want to go where it says uh, important online tools for this chapter. Click on that link or page. And what I recommend you use is this interactive English uh, vowel consonant sound chart. So you'll have all of the sounds there and then you can play those. So click here and that takes you to this chart. These are the vowel symbols, not letters, but the symbols of all the vowel sounds in English. E. E. U. E. Or the very common vowel sound in English, the schwa. Uh. Uh. <laughs> so I know it takes some getting used to. But this interactive vowel sound and consonant sound chart will prove very helpful for this chapter. And then again, that's in the important online tools for this chapter uh, in the module for chapter three. So you'll definitely want to make reference to that as you do the exercises. But again, back to uh, exercise two, page 15. What you need to do is you need to look up the keyword, look up each keyword in your Longman dictionary. That's also from the important tools. That's this dictionary that I showed you previously in this module. So look up the keyword in exercise two and write the pronunciation symbol for the underlined vowel sound. And you can find those symbols here. Uh, but you also just find them in the dictionary. So let's take a look at number one, for example. So number one is actually, they're wanting you to compare uh, the Longman dictionary to the vowel sounds that are provided in the textbook and then also in the Newberry House dictionary. He is the first word that we're going to look at. And the underlined vowel sound is the one that we need to write here. So let's go to the Longman Dictionary. We're going to type in the word he. And the vowel sound is going to be provided right here. This right where this dash is. This is the vowel sound. And you can go back to your chart and you can find it there. See how it matches up? And you can press it for good measure. E. E. That's the vowel sound for he. So all you need to do, copy it, and then you can put it in a Word document, or if you prefer, you can even write out your responses uh, in your textbook or in your notebook, it's up to you. But the E, you can see, is the same as the Newberry House Dictionary. So you would write the E that we saw there in the dictionary. Copy and paste, or you can write it out. Let's do the next two together. Hit. Hit. Go to the online dictionary. Type hit.
And there we have the vowel sound. So not E, but I. I. We can go to our interactive chart. And let's see if we can find I. Looks like it's right here. So you can take that and write that in your response for number two. Let's see if it's the same. Yep, looks like it's same all throughout. So you'll find maybe that the Longming Dictionary is the same. But this is just to get you to practice the vowel sounds. Let's do one more together. May. May. Like, may I help you? May. Back to the Longman Dictionary. Hmm, interesting. So it's a cluster here. These two together, may. The A-Y together, this vowel sound. You can go to your interactive chart there and find it. You can see there the E and the I together. Right? May. And play it. A. A. May. A. So this is to get familiar with the vowel sounds. Find them first in the online dictionary. Identify them first. Compare to the interactive, uh, we call this the IPA, but it's the vowel sound and consonant sound chart. Play it. A. A. Make sure it matches with the word and how it's pronounced, and then go ahead and write it in your chart. Great practice for recognizing, even though the spelling might be similar, how vowels can be pronounced differently. So go ahead and fill in for each of these keywords uh, the vowel sounds for each of those. And then, of course, you could also play the audio in your online textbook or the uh, the online portion of the of the textbook there CD1 track 4 excuse me track 14 and there you have the pronunciation exercise 2b page 15 1 he 2 it 3 May. There you have it, folks. That is exercise two, page 15.